In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Mystery Ranch In-N-Out Packable Day Pack. I've been testing this thing for about two months from Detroit to Barcelona, and it's been going well so far. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, and we do day pack reviews like this all the time, as well as a couple other videos around travel gear and backpacks, so if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. Let's jump right into the In-N-Out, one of the most durable packs that we've ever tested. When you first take a look at this pack on the outside, it's got a bit of an outdoorsy look. It comes in three different colors. You've got khaki, you've got black, and you have indigo. We chose black because it tends to blend in the most with an urban environment. We think it looks the best uh, in urban, but you still have a lot of the functionality going on here that can work out on the trail if that's where you're headed with it. The fabric going on here is a 100D Cordura mini ripstop nylon, and that's super durable. It's not quite as swishy as a lot of other day packs that will use maybe a 30D nylon that have maybe more of like a kind of jacket denier. This is a little bit thicker. The yarn is a little bit thicker. So what you get is, uh, it's still like swishy, but you also have like a more tarpy feel as well. So definitely robust high durability fabric going on in this pack. In addition to that, we've got the YKK zippers throughout. We've got the Duraflex hardware, as well as some additional Cordura nylon on uh, the pieces like the compression straps and this webbing on the outside, which we're gonna dive into in a little bit more detail in a minute. All of these high quality materials come together and make a really great pack. You could even take the word packable out of it just because the feel and the durability of this thing is so high quality. You know, Mystery Ranch, it doesn't feel like they just took like a nylon container with like some 30D ripstop or something and then put some straps on it and call it a day. They actually thought through the design of this thing and it carries like a backpack. Mystery Ranch has the in and out listed at one pound on their website, which is pretty heavy for a packable day pack. We actually weighed it ourselves and it came in at 0.85 pounds for us. So that discrepancy matters a lot when you're considering a packable day pack for one bag travel. A lot of other bags that we reviewed that are packable uh, day packs end up coming in a lot lighter than this one. So that's something to consider. Like you get that high durability with this thing, but it's at the cost of more weight. Starting with the harness system, this thing is very usable and definitely categorized as such. Like I mentioned earlier, it carries as a normal backpack despite it being packable and there's a couple reasons for that. So let's start with the properly anchored sternum strap here. Uh, definitely helps improve the carry, especially if you have a lot of weight here. And we had a lot of fun with this one because we decided to pull our audience on an Instagram story uh, previously before making this video. And 54% of people said that they preferred uh, the sternum strap on a packable day pack of this size. And the other portion of people said it was overkill. I honestly initially predicted that more people would say that it was overkill. Uh, but just kind of interesting. It was sort of almost split evenly down the middle. So be sure to go head over to Pack Hacker's Instagram. It's just at Pack Hacker and follow us if you want to participate in our pre-review surveys. That's where we're doing it on Instagram stories. The contoured straps here have some nice ergonomic features and the air mesh here is going to one, keep the weight down and two, add some additional breathability to the strap system as you're carrying this thing around. The same mesh that's found on these straps is not found on the backing of the pack. So that may be able to add some additional airflow, um, but that's not there. You're just right up against the 100D nylon here. There's a hanging loop on the top handle here. Nothing too crazy going on with this one. Um, we do like that it's further back, so it's flush with the wall if you wanna hang it up on a hook that's on the wall. On one side, there is a stretch woven water bottle pocket going on here, and it's definitely super durable. It's very tight on there, um, which makes it a little bit hard to get water bottles inside of here due to the non-rigid structure of this pack. So that's just something to note. Additionally, Smaller water bottles are gonna work well in here, but larger ones, say like that swell bottle that's sitting right over there in the corner, um, that's not gonna fit in here. So something to note, you'll only be able to have smaller water bottles in here. 
To wrap up the external features on this thing, there are two tool loops at the bottom here. So if you need to carry any trekking poles, you can do that if you need to. Um, we haven't utilized this feature much since we mainly focus on urban. Um, additionally, you've got these compression straps, Duraflex buckles throughout, actually Duraflex plastic hardware throughout. So these are nice to have if you wanna stuff a jacket down there. Um, uh, you've got them on both sides. And then, um, you know, they can also compress your pack down a little bit if you want to do that for any reason. But don't necessarily have to since it's a smaller pack. And lastly, you have some nylon webbing here. So uh, that's great to have just if you want to hang anything off of it um, and further accessorize. Maybe you want to toss some like lash straps around it. Um, you know, you do you. But you have a lot of customizability with this pack. And again, that's what's going to add to that more outdoorsy look and function versus urban. So again, the black version kind of blends into itself uh, pretty well and uh, keeps it subtle while still allowing you to have those features if you'd like to have them. And do you really need all that in a packable day pack? I'm gonna leave that up to you to decide based on what you have to carry. All right, so kicking off the inside of the pack, we have two exterior pockets here. So the first one is mesh, it's going about halfway down the pack. And this is gonna be the pocket that's used to self-stuff the bag into. Um, throughout, there's a lot of kind of paracord going on here overall. Um, you know, a little bit more than we'd like. It gets a little bit bulky, especially when you get over here where the compression straps are. It kind of gets in the way of itself and you have to kind of like loop it under if you wanna open it up all the way. Um, we're not super hot on that. We understand there's function to it. Like if you're wearing gloves, you just stick your finger in there, easy, boom, take it off. Um, but we, we wish they were a little bit smaller and potentially, uh, you know, paracord shrank. Um, but yeah, this opens right up. The nice thing about this YKK number eight zipper here is that it's two-sided. So once it's, you know, compressed in here, it zips from the outside as well. And when you compress it down, it's gonna be 8.5 by 4.5 by four inches. Now it's important to note that this is a lot larger in compression size than a lot of other packable day packs we've tested at Pack Hacker. That's the trade-off you're gonna get for durable materials. And then there's another quick access pocket at the top. They've really done an excellent job with this. It's the right size to put little items in there that you need to grab quickly. Um, on some day packs, they'll actually take this pocket and go all the way down to about where the mesh pocket is. Um, but not the case with this quick access pocket here. We found this to be just about the perfect size. Moving on to that main compartment, it is a half zip horseshoe system here that kind of opens up like that. I'm not a full clamshell, but you don't necessarily need one for a pack of this size. And basically inside of here, overall it's a giant bucket with the exception of this compartment here, which can be used for a water bladder. It's a two liter reservoir hydration pouch, so you can just toss that right in. And then there are two ports on the side as well where you can thread that hose through depending on which side you want it. And there's a toggle here for the hose as well. Um, now you can't really fit any electronics in here. Normally with a hydration bladder, it'll be a little bit wider and you can usually put like a 15 inch laptop in there as well. Uh, this will fit a 15 inch laptop, but it's just gonna be free floating in there. If you have that, or any other items that you wanna throw in here that are sharper or more fragile, consider putting them in padded packing cubes or like a padded laptop sleeve. Uh, for one, kinda of creates a nice padded frame sheet the laptop does for your back, adds a little bit of structure to the pack. And secondly, if you have like heavier, bulkier items in here like say a camera or something like that. Um, it's gonna be weird if it's not in some kind of additional padded pocket. It's gonna kind of stick into your back. So just make sure that you have all that considered before you take this thing out. Even with the super heavy durability on this thing, uh, the material here is pretty thin, so you'll definitely feel things kind of poking out at your back if you don't have any additional protection there. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this review, I've been testing this from Detroit to Barcelona for about two months now with decently heavy usage. I haven't run into any durability issues at all. Besides just some dirt getting onto the pack, nothing too crazy, easily wiped it off. And if it's coming from Mystery Ranch, you just know it's gonna be durable. That's the type of brand that they are. So we don't really foresee any issues cropping up with this thing as we use it for longer. But again, with that durability, you're gonna pay for it a bit in weight and size. It's safe to say that this is one of the most durable, packable day packs that we've tested to date. So to wrap this thing up with some pros and cons, strong and durable materials are used for the in and out, which we really dig. The high quality harness system wears like an actual backpack, 
There is some smart organization and layout going on in this thing. We especially love the quick access pocket at the top. Moving on to some of the cons, it's larger and heavier than other packable day packs that we've tested. The large, loose zipper pulls are a tad clunky, especially when paired with the compression straps. The water bottle compartment is stiff and small. Because of the nature of the bag, it's a little bit hard to get leverage to put a water bottle inside of it. And then it's not gonna fit larger water bottles either. Between the harness system and the durable materials used, the YKK zippers, Cordura mini ripstop, and the Duraflex all come together to create a pretty great backpack. And arguably it's not even a packable day pack. It really wears like an actual backpack. If you're looking for a durable packable day pack and care less about the packability and weight, the Mystery Ranch In-N-Out could be the perfect choice for you. Thanks for taking a look at our review on the Mystery Ranch In-N-Out Packable Day Pack. Be sure to head over to packhacker.com slash newsletter, sign up for our newsletter, and never miss an update. Thanks for checking this out. We'll see you in the next video. Bingo, bango, bongo. I just ate some spicy food. It's messing with my ability to review backpacks. All right, energy, 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 okay.